the objective of this video is to find the phi number summary uh, in stats of the height of boys and girls. So now this is the data. Uh, this is the height of boys. I got we got the height of 30 boys. So let me show you. So this is this is serial number. So I've got 30 boys, height of 30 boys and girls. And we want to find minimum, lower quartile, median, upper quartile, and maximum. And these are called the five number summary. Okay. So from this you can this is boys and girls, so this is the height. Okay, so height of boys and height of girls. So to calculate min or minimum in stats on in Excel, what you do is you go you I'm in this cell. You press equal, then min. Min stands for minimum. Bracket, then highlight the data. Highlight the data and close the bracket. Close the bracket and enter. That will give you minimum. Now, just to confirm it, so what you can do one thing, you can highlight the data and you can sort this in ascending order. So first highlight the data and then go to data and then a to z click on a to z and continue with the current selection and sort okay so yeah i i do highlight the also the heading i think so so highlight including the heading and go sort a to z continue with the current selection and sort so can you see 154 is the shortest or the minimum. So let us do the same thing for girls. So let us sort it first. So highlight the data including the title. Okay, first highlight the data, then got so let me go back home, go to data A to Z and continue with the correct selection and sort. So we already know that the minimum for girls is 147. But let's use Excel. So you go equal min bracket highlight the data highlight the data and close the bracket and close the bracket equal so 147 so we already knew it so that's done okay so now for lower quartile you do equal quartile now lower quartile is called the first quartile so highlight the data this is for boys and you have to do a comma one close the bracket so this will give you the lower quartile okay so the same thing uh, for girls it will be equal quartile bracket highlight the data you can click on this and if you double if you catch the tail you can also do like this so let us uh, highlight the data and if you double click on this if you get the arrow no it's not doing sorry so let me uh, highlight the data and close the uh, no it's lower quartile so comma one and close it so 156 i'll explain how these numbers make sense median is the middle value so just let's understand median by just looking. Suppose you've got 30 values. The median should be between the 15th and the 16th value. So let me show you the 15th. So this is the 15th is 167. And the 16th value is 168. So the median should be 167.5. So let's confirm that. So median would be equal median. You can directly do median. Median is also called the second quartile. So highlight the data and close the bracket. Close the bracket, equal. So that's what we confirmed. That's what I said. So let me go back. So the 15th data is 167 and the 16th is 168. So the, it is the average of 167 and 168, which is 167.5. So the same way, if you go for, if you look for girls, 
it should be 161.5 because the mean of or the average of 161 and 162 is 161.5. So median, the same thing, equal median bracket, highlight the data, and close the bracket, equal. And that's confirmed. Okay, now lower quartile, let me go back to the lower quartile. Excel calculates lower quartile in a slightly different way, but it is suppose you've got 30 data, so you've got, uh, you can say, the 15th, there are 15, so the middle data is between the 15th and the 16th data. So there are 15 above median, and there are 15 below median. So lower quartile is the middle of the lower half. So if you've got 15 data in the up lower half, what would be in the middle? Okay, the middle would be the eighth data. Can you see? Because you've got seven in above and seven underneath. So what I'm saying is these are these are seven above lower quartile, and these are the seven below the lower quartile. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so the eighth data is the lower quartile. Okay. Okay. So yeah, same way uh, for girls directly. Can you understand? The eighth data is 156, and that's how you get the lower quartile. So the lo upper quartile is the middle of the lower half. So you do the same thing: equal quartile. Upper quartile is the third quartile. Okay. So highlight the data for boys and do a comma and three. So this is the third quartile or the upper quartile, which is 167, oh sorry, 173. So let's count. So you got the eighth data is the middle of the lower half. So the eighth data in the lower half will be the upper quartile. So let's start from here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's exactly 173. Can you see the upper quartile is 173? And so logically you can understand the upper quartile for girls should be 165. So let's try that. Equal quartile bracket, highlight the data, the whole data, and uh, close comma, three, close the bracket. And that's confirmed, okay, 165. And maximum you do MAX bracket data and close the bracket. We already know the maximum, which is for boys is 181, and for girls it should be 174. So equal max bracket data close the bracket equal 174. So this is the stats of or summary statistics or five number summary statistics for boys and girls height.